We know more about space than we do about the oceans on this planet. Ocean trenches, the most hidden habitats on Earth, account for the deepest 45% of the oceans. This enigmatic environment is called the Hadal Zone, and remains one of the least explored habitats on Earth. And they go deep. Take the Mariana Trench, which has the lowest point in Earth. This point is known as Challenger Deep, and is found 36,070 feet below sea level at the bottom of the trench. Make that seven miles down. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific Ocean some 125 miles to the east of the Mariana Islands and south of Japan. It doesn't get any lower on Earth than the Mariana Trench. A water column above the trench exerts a pressure of 1,086 bars, that's 15,750 psi, which is more than 1,000 times the standard atmosphere pressure at sea level. The density of water is almost 5% greater than at sea level. These extreme conditions are obviously very harsh due to intense hydrostatic pressures and a near total lack of light. Nevertheless, deep sea probes have allowed us to study the oceanic fault lines and unique ecosystems that exist in this, the very deepest part of the ocean. The first probe into the Mariana Trench was the manned descent by a Swiss-designed, Italian-built and United States Navy-owned vessel known as a Bathysafe and called Trieste. It reached the bottom at 1.06 p.m. on the 23rd of January 1960. American Don Walsh and Swiss national Jacques Picard were the two men on board. Unmanned probes went down in 1996 and 2009. On the 26th of March 2012, it was the turn of the well-known film director James Cameron, yes, he of Avatar and Titanic fame, to reach the bottom of the trench in his submersive vessel Deep Sea Challenge. Cameron became only the third person in history to venture to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. So is there life at the bottom of the Mariana Trench? Yes there is and quite a lot of it. The first expedition conducted in 1960 claimed to have observed, with great surprise because of the high pressure, large creatures living at the bottom, such as a flatfish about 12 inches long, and shrimp. Although marine biologists believe that the sighted flatfish may have been a sea cucumber instead. Xenophyophores were also observed. Xenophyophores trap and eat tiny particles by engulfing them, as true amoebas do. There are gigantic single-celled amoebas that were more than four inches in diameter. The mere size of these xenophyophores is noteworthy, as was their abundance on the floor of the trench, given that they are known to be hosts for a variety of organisms. Also found have been amphipods, which are shrimp-like crustaceans. They're usually abundant wherever there is deep water. During Cameron's journey with his Challenger Deep probe, many white or pale pink species of amphipods were observed and even filmed. Their size was, relatively speaking, immense. Microbiologist Douglas Bartett noticed how most ocean-going amphipods are the size of the final segment of a person's thumb, an inch give or take. The probe was able to trap amphipods 7 inches in size, while ones up to 15 inches in size were seen. That's no less than one foot long. Sea cucumbers were found craftily camouflaged in the sand. Sea cucumbers are echinoderms, like sea stars, and they specialize in roving the depths of the oceans, harvesting food from the sediments with their feeding appendages. Sometimes they position themselves to intercept ocean currents so as to catch miniature prey that drift past their feeding tentacles. Footage from the Cameron probe found that the sea cucumbers were all pointed in exactly the same direction, probably so as to maximize the harvest of the few nutrient-bearing ocean currents that reached the bottom of the trench. They also appeared to be frozen in place, with only their feeding appendages seeing to move from time to time. A new species of snailfish was discovered at a depth of 26,722 feet in December 2014, which broke the previous record by 1,640 feet for the deepest living fish seen on video. A snailfish has a ghostly tadpole-like body and no scales. They have large heads, small eyes, and no scales, and are normally slightly larger than a human hand in length. During the Aberdeen University 2014 expedition, several new species were filmed, including huge crustaceans that are known as supergiants. 
This phenomenon is known as deep sea giganticism and occurs when species grow far larger than their relatives found closer to the surface and in shallower waters. The same 2014 expedition filmed rat tails, decapods, supergiants, and snailfish seen interacting with each other at depths at over 23,000 feet. Dr. Jameson of Aberdeen University stated that, knowing these creatures exist is one thing, but to watch them alive in their natural habitat and interacting with other species is truly amazing. We have learnt a great deal. In May 2017, the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology filmed a snailfish in the Mariana Trench at an even deeper depth, this time at 26,380 feet, which set a new record for the deepest point ever at which a fish was captured on video. The video was taken with 4K ultra-height resolution cameras mounted on an unmanned lander operated by Kairai, the agency's deep-sea research vessel. But microbes also thrive in the trench. In 1998, Japanese researchers used the remotely operated vehicle Kaiko to probe the trench and found evidence of two bacteria, both of which were from completely different groups. In 2006, Japanese researchers hit a further biological gold mine of microbes, which included clitinobacteria, non-extomophilic bacteria, three major groups of extremophilic bacteria, fungi, the works. It was also recently discovered that bacteria positively thrive in the sediments of Challenger Deep. In fact, they are found in even greater numbers than other parts of the Mariana Trench. Researchers from the University of Southern Denmark theorize that the canyon walls act as a nutrient funnel that concentrates nutrients for bacteria at the very bottom of the trench. So, it would seem that the Mariana Trench, while looking somewhat like a lunar landscape, is in fact quite alive. However, it's not only living organisms that can be found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Tragically, scientists found incredibly high levels of pollution in the Mariana Trench, including a can of low-sodium spam. Yep, that's right, spam. And you can throw in a can of Budweiser too. Yes, a can of Bud. That's humans for you. That, then, is just some of what can be found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth. For more videos just like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out our other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks for learning.